Hello, Sagittarius. In this reading for you, you want to see um, if there's anything going to be blindsiding you for the rest of April. Let's have a look and see. Let's clear the area first of any previous readings and energies and send that positive vibes through to you guys out there. Let's see. Let's get some Moonology um, cards out here to see what are we talking about? What are we looking at here? What can come up that can catch Sagittarius off guard? Or what has been coming up? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Aha. Balance, guys. Balance. And it's so interesting. This is a full moon in Pisces energy. But I was just looking at temperance card. No, no. And I was talking about balance in the temperance energy, which is your card. Now is time to pull it back together, guys. <laughs> it's time to sort out your energy. Uh, and it's time to make a move forward. You've got time to take action. New moon in Aries. Full moon in Pisces, energy, balance, spirituality, and practicality. I'll tell you straight away what I'm picking up on here. Saji, stuff has been happening. Emotional things have been happening because this is full moon in Pisces. Um, it's, it's caused you to fall off balance in some kind of way. And it's time to pull it all back together. <laughs> okay? Um, there is something that has occurred here that has caused you to be knocked off balance completely. And it's time to pull it back by using spirituality and practical steps as well to get yourself back on track. It is time to take action. There is that Aries vibe coming through. Let's see what, what comes through in the tarot here. Let's see. Oh, you got a full card in the reverse position. And a card is falling, if I'm not mistaken. It is the star card in the reverse position. Yeah, yeah something has definitely uh occurred here it involves you feeling like so there's been a change um, and it's not to your liking let's see what other cards come up here i want to see what this is yeah it's all in your head it's got memories attached to it as well five of wands energy which is five of inspiration the six of emotions comes up here this can be related to your it can even be family um issues um, if, it gets, if this is a relationship that is going wrong here, you may have children with this person. There's an element, the way I'm looking at the six of emotions down here, there's almost an element of nostalgia, you know. Something without a doubt has changed here. With the full card coming in the reverse position, I almost feel like you were forced into taking a shift in your, your life or in energy or even in a relationship that you didn't want to take. It was not to what you wanted it to be. With the star card being in the reverse position, which is Aquarius's energy, by the way, um, it does tell me that you didn't like the direction that something has gone into. And because of that, it's making you feel like your energy has been knocked off balance and you're not okay. Um, yes, the energy that's out of balance, you're not okay. I feel like you're also trying to solve a problem. You're trying to figure out how to shift yourself back to the way you know yourself to be. There's almost this energy of you looking back, you know. The Six of Emotions talks about looking backwards, looking into the past. And it's almost like you're looking into the past and you're going, I just want to feel the way I used to feel. I miss the energy of being me. I miss the energy of not being here. I honestly, from the very beginning that I did this reading, I felt there was a very big change in your in your vibe, in your energy body, your aura, call it what you want, you know. There's a definite, um, um, how can I say this? Or, uh, I don't want to say ma, but there's a out of balance energy in it. And I'm just going to advise you guys, if that is the case, Work on some chakra healing, you know, work on all seven chakras if you can. Get some crystals, um, carry crystals with you, uh, even bath in them if you can. Uh, do some herbal things like I'm doing here. Just get sage and sage yourself out if you can't get anything else. Even supermarket sage, guys, just dry it out and, and use it, you know. Um, even use sound therapy, something like that. I use a lot of sound therapy, which you can just pick up on YouTube, um, checking the seven chakras, like uh, sound frequencies, and just play it while you're sleeping. It's, it's unbelievable how that can shift your energy and you're actually doing nothing you're just sleeping and the energy is just working on your your aura all the way i would advise you to do that it's going to help you to be able to shift what has happened here i do feel like you're still in a situation that you didn't want to be in it's almost like okay i didn't sign up for this but here I am, and it's really knocked you out. Almost like, whoa, look, you're going to leave it behind. Yes, Ten of Wands energy. You're carrying a huge amount of stress right now. You're worried about the future. You wish things could just go back to the way that they were. 
and you are going to move from this energy. You are going to step it out. You, you're physically going to take the action to get this out of you. And you're going to shift your energy and get yourself right because you've got decisions to make. You've got decisions to make. Seven of Cups energy. I'm just going to tell you lack of emotion in this card here. Whatever this was, whatever this big shift was, I mean, it can be absolutely anything. It can be work-related, family-related. Um, it can be somebody that you're involved with that did something that completely changed the dynamics of a relationship even. And um, you currently, I feel like you're a little bit switched off. That's a part of your emotional unbalance now as well. You may be kind of like uh, emotionless, which is not good feeling, hey? I mean, we're either like feeling good, or, but when you have zero emotion, it's also a sign of stress as well and anxiety. And um, you are going to shift out of this. You're going to have to make decisions here with the Seven of Cups being here, which tells me you're going to have to make a step forward to take action. But when you do so, you are going to be in a much, much more positive place than where you are now. I do feel like you are going to be able to step out of whatever the stress is for you, Sagittarius. You've got to make a decision, take some steps, even if it's just spiritual steps, because we're talking about spirituality. Even if it means listening to um, uh, frequencies like Sofigo frequencies or singing bowls sounds at night, it seems like absolutely nothing. But the effect that it's going to have on you is that it's going to give you the vibe to be able to take action to be able to make a choice and have the physical energy to start moving in the direction you want this to go in sometimes i'm just going to say guys there is nothing we can do about the past we cannot change what has happened we have to move forward we cannot be sitting in this year and going i wish everything could just go back to the way that it was some things happen this is life i mean we sign up for this deal and we come here and there is things that happen that we don't like, but we cannot let this break us. We cannot let this pull us down. We have to stand up again. We have to take action and we have to find a new way forward that puts us in a place of happiness again. There we go, Saji. I'm wishing you all the best. I'm sending my vibes, my positive vibes through to you. And um, if it does resonate with you, please hit the thumbs up button. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see my next reading sending love and light in your direction bye